All right, welcome back here to part two of creating drone light formations um, that may be useful in the real world out of Cinema 4D. Um, so I'm in, in, in a project that I was kind of working on a little bit and just kind of showing you what I started creating, which is, um, and let me just get rid of this cloner because that cloner doesn't really matter. I can hide the star too and the helix. But, you know, just kind of experimenting with, and this is probably good, good, practice for you start with just a couple and just get this workflow down um, so I had it just kind of making the top of my star and then rotating around and making some different colors very basic so how did I approach this let's start over um, first things first let's get our cube back let's make this guy nice and small sure I'm not gonna pay too much attention to dimensions right now and then we are gonna clone this again. Oops, cloner. We are going to put it on a grid array and get rid of our Y and we're gonna spread this out nice and far. And then we'll do, we'll do some even number. So I'll do a five by four. So we'll have 20 as our count. Okay, so here's our little 20 drone light show. All right, now we're gonna duplicate it again. And let's pick another shape. So how about I go with, um, as a good example, I'll do the star again, okay? And now this is where I could see, as an animator engineer of these shows, you're gonna have to start doing some math um, to really calculate how how to do this appropriately. So if you come into the star right now, you have eight points, okay? Which means if I'm gonna clone this second set of cloners onto an object, um, you'll notice if I do R20, okay? That's a distribution mode of just, you know, iterating across the clone. And, you know, if you just look at it, well, that's not a star, okay? So the only real way you're gonna be able to achieve quality um, formations is by um, distributing it across the vertex, okay? But obviously what happens here? Well, you're gonna have your eight points and then you're gonna have another eight on the inside, right? So you're gonna have 16 drones. Um, so that's not gonna, you're gonna to have to do some math there if you're gonna use the star. Well, one thing you can do, well, I got 20 drones, so I'm gonna go down to five, which gives me five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. That's 10 drones right there, right? And if I was to just, um, anyway, well, I don't know why I'm, I thought he was just right clicked and subdivided, but for some reason I'm not. Do I need to be in points mode? There we go, okay. So I can go into points mode and if I subdivide it, now I've got, now the problem is now I've got, uh, I should have 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So there's my 20, okay? So I can now go from, I'm gonna just kind of rotate this a little bit so that it's, you know, a good looking star. And then if I just wanna look at it, cool. I've got a good looking star right there. Um, and then let's say I want to do another formation and maybe, you know, maybe this one's over here a little bit and then let's grab like a, just a simple circle. Okay. Let's just like put this over here and same deal. We're going to duplicate this out circle object and I need to iterate this. You 
this is a count of 20. Okay, a lot easier here. I don't, it'll be evenly distributed there. Okay, so this, these are my, this is my cheap little drone show right here. Um, so what we're gonna need to do is really work with, like I'm gonna use these as my guides, these two cloners that are up here, okay? And I'm not gonna mess with them right now. And then I'm gonna use this as my show, okay? So let's just call this like the drone show. And then I'm gonna call this the, uh, this is our star guide. And this is our circle guide. And you don't even really need these shapes anymore. Oh, I guess you gotta have them there. But what we need to do then is for this drone show, we need to make it editable so that we now have individual drones. And I, I suspect this would be very important if you're doing the exporting as well, because you're gonna need to have all this path data. Um, and let's just go ahead and extend this out here. But that's going to be really important to measure the things that a simulator would tell you are problematic. Things like your velocity, um, and you know your like yeah your speed, and then like detecting how close to one another the drones are. Because you know this isn't like your hobby drone where they have all the sensors, the, the DJI Mavics of the world. You know these aren't built with that. These are built to just fly um, pre-programmed, and then you have a fence around it, and that's it. So, um, so how are we going to do this? It's not going to be as straightforward as we'd like because we can't use the matrix. And obviously we want to avoid these rotations and all this stuff. And then obviously look at this with the circle, okay? There's no way we can have drones that are upside down. And right now that's essentially what it's doing with these um, cubes is that one's right side up. This one's upside down. That's, that's not going to work. Um, so here's how we do it. Let's go in and let's name all of our drones. So I'm going to say drone one and drone two. And I'll speed this up in the video. Okay, so I've got all my drones named and we can look at where they are. One, two, you see, three, four, and five. That's my first row. All right. Um, so what we probably want to do is just get them off the ground first. Let's bring these up a little bit. Just get them off the ground hovering and then we're going to want to send them kind of like in rows. Um, so what I'll do is, you know, I can even group these further. So I know this is one, two, three, four, five. So let's just do a, a Alt G. Let's call this row one, six through 10. It's gonna be Alt G row two. 11 through 15, row three, and 16 through 20 is row four. Look at that, I all caps one for no particular reason at all. Okay, so we'll start by slowly getting these guys off the ground. I have to kind of calculate here what kind of speed we have, or we can not really pay attention for this tutorial. Honestly, I'm just trying to show you the basics and you might have to figure out some of the, <laughs> fill in some of the rest. All right, so we'll take row one. Let's give it uh, a coordinate here. And let's go to like 100 and let's bring it up off the ground. And we're bringing it up 10 feet off the ground. Now let's look at how fast this really is. Three seconds to 10 feet, okay? So it's going three feet per second. I think the maximum speed typically of these drones is gonna be like five meters a second. So I think we're safe, but I could be wrong. So when we get to like 50 frames, 
we'll do row two. We start there and we'll go to 150 and bring him up the same to, let's just do these whole numbers, 10 feet. And then at 100, we're gonna take row three, bring it up to 200 at 10 feet. And then finally row four is gonna start at 150 at zero feet and go to 250 to 10 feet. Let's just make sure that I use exactly the same measurements for row one. Of course, I'm not even on the exact keyframe. Sloppiness, I'm just trying to get stuff done. I apologize. It's really about the technique. Don't, you know, if you're out here, if you're a really technical person and you're learning from this tutorial, I'm, I am sorry. All right, so let's start it over. Let's watch, it's like, okay, here we go. The show is about to begin, and we take off first row, second row, third row, and the fourth row. Okay, cool. They're hovering there. Um, let's give them the last one hits its mark at 250 or 30 frames a second. So let's give it five seconds. So we'll go to 400. Okay, cool. So that means. Um, our first shape we're going to do is the star. We've got five drones per row. The furthest row away is going to go first, get some distance, and I'll populate this one, two, three, four, five. This first, this first mark right here with row one. So what that means is I'm going to take this drone and I'm going to need to assume that position. So the first thing I'll do is I will set keyframe here for position, and then I will go, I don't even know, you know, we'll have to look at our speed as we go, but let's just go out to like 600. And then this is where you're gonna wanna use a little tool called transfer. And with the transfer tool, when you've got this drone selected, you can transfer very quickly all this position data to another drone. But now we can't do it because it's in a cloner. So we get it, we gotta make sure now that our formations are good. Maybe we lay them out. We can always move them later, but we gotta make sure that we've got the 20 and the 20. We like the way they look and um, and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and make these guys editable, okay? Now I can take this drone and I can take my transfer and I should be able to just click it right there, all right? So I'm at 600 frames, I click on drone one, come in here and I keyframe it, okay? Now let's go to drone two, all right? I'm going to go back to 400 frames and what I should have probably done is just, just take all these guys and let's just keyframe them all right now, right there. And then we're gonna to go to 600. Drone two is going to be transferred to there and keyframed. Drone three is gonna be transferred to there and keyframed. Drone four will transfer to there and keyframe and drone five will transfer to there and keyframe. So now you'll notice that looks good, but the last thing you gotta make sure you do is zero out your rotation data, okay? So on all of these, go to that 600th frame, kinda doing it row by row. And let's select them all. We're gonna go zero, 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 and keyframe. Okay. And now if we hide our star guide, look at that, they flew. Okay, they got up there. 
and they're perfectly still par parallel to the ground. We're not getting any crazy action. Let's let's look at our speed. You know, that's pretty fast. Um, but it's not bad. I mean, if I go to my one drone from, you know, I'm, it's 200 frames. I chose that's like, you know, six seconds. It's going from, let's just pay attention to the Y mostly. In six seconds, it travels 55 feet. So what's 55 divided by six? You do your quick math. Um, yeah. So it's just under, you know, 10 feet a second. And let's see what that is. 10 feet per second in miles per hour. It's about 6.8 miles an hour. So that is perfectly doable as far as a, uh, a drone performance. Um, so we will go on to the next row. Let's make our star guide come back. And now we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. All right, we'll send that row over there. Um, and since we started at 400 here, we'll give it some lag time. We'll give it a second and a half. And we'll come into row two. All right, drone six through 10, keyframe them all right here. Go to 650. Drone six transfer tool. Drone six is going right there. Keyframe, drone seven is going there. And keyframe, I might be creating a problem for myself, I just realized because I probably want this drone to fly to the furthest out point. So let's try that again. I'm actually gonna have drone six go there in keyframe. That makes more sense, right? Because otherwise we might have an overlap. Now we can always adjust the path along the way if you wanna kind of buffer them and we can test this later. Um, but let's just, you know, let's think, think in terms of makes sense. I'm going to probably want to put this one kind of lower. So I'll go down here with this next drone and keyframe it. I will go to uh, this guy. So I've got these two outer points. We'll go to there and keyframe. Nine's going to go. Eh, I'm overlapping again, but whatever. There and then 10's got to go there and keyframe. All right. So let's take a look now at kind of how we're, how we're overlapping. And actually, let's kind of get, I'll probably stop this tutorial there. We'll get into this in the next tutorial. Um, sorry these are lengthy, and sorry you're listening to the ramblings of a crazy man, but I hope this is helping.